Office Data Processing Level 4, Microsoft Outlook, Topic 5. How to create a signature in Outlook. In the workplace one day when you work um, as a PA or a secretary and you send out a lot of emails, to save time and also to make your emails professional, you can create a signature that you put at the bottom of each email that is there automatically that you can just insert to each email that you sent. Now, to be able to send or to create your signature, you have to click on new email. And then on top of your toolbar, you will see there's something called signature. As soon as you click on signature, you will get the options of signatures. When you open that block, it's give you, it gives you the signatures and stationary uh, little block that opens up. Now I can create a new signature. You can give that signature a name. I'm just going to put in my name, El Standard, and you will click on OK. Now there's your different signatures. If you create another one, um, each one will appear there under signatures to edit. So I want to use the first one and then at the bottom I can edit my signature with the information that I want in my signature. I can put in my name again. I can put in my designation. I can put in my company name. And if I want to, I can put in a telephone number. Zero three four three two. Okay. Now, if I in insert the signature in my document or in my email that I create, all my stuff is there and I don't have to retype it every single time I send out an email. Now, obviously I have to save that signature that I've created. Then in the test or in the exam, you will have to make a print screen of this to show me that you have created a signature using signatures and stationery. I don't want to see that you've just typed it in at the bottom of an email. You have to show me that you created this signature. Now, you can also change the font. Each little line can be different if you want to. You can change the font and the font size of your signature. You can make it bold or underline or italics, whatever the instruction is they give you. And the same as in Word where you can change the font and the format of your signature. Now, after creating my signature, I will click on print screen or place print screen on my, on my keyboard. I will go to Word, open a blank Word document and paste it there so that we can see that you've created a signature using the signature and stationery. Now, after I go back or I've made my print screen, I can click on OK. Now, when I go back to signature, there is the signatures that I've created already. So if I click on L standard, the first one that I've created, it will automatically, all the information that's in that signature will appear at the bottom of my email message. So now, once again, I can type in my email, my, my email, I can type in the subject, ODP level four. I can type my little message, good day, attached, please find documents. And then I don't have to type at the bottom all my information. I can just say thank you. And there's my signature that I've created 
that I can just insert. So if I need to create a signature, I will go to new email. I will go to signatures, signatures, and then I can create a new signature here. Click on new. I can give it a name. As soon as I've given it a name, you have to give it a name. You click on OK, and then you can put in the details of that signature at the bottom. You can change the font. You can change the font size, make it bold, put it in the center wherever you want it. Then you will have to make a print screen of this block to show me that you've created your signature. After you've done that, you click on OK. Now in an email, you can just attach your signature, click on Signatures, and then select the one that you've created to attach it to your document.